Hey folks, it's Bill Swift from Swift Canoe and Kayak. We're here at our main test paddling location in Oxtung Lake on a beautiful April day. We are going to show you a custom boat we've built that has some super cool features for a fellow in the UK to allow him to keep paddling. Let's go to it. Paul Leapington lives in Scarborough on the northeast coast of the UK. He's been boating his whole life. He is 75 years old now. He's been in a really bad car accident at one point in his life. And he also has osteoporosis. He's got some pins in his arms and he's got really big lower back pain. So he contacted us and he, he said, Bill, I want you to help me keep paddling. I want to still be paddling. I'm a sailor by background. He has a Hobie tandem island. He wants to be able to keep going. So let's show you this. So look at this. This is a really cool setup that we built for Paul. And let me go over some of the features for you because we've never done anything like this before. So first of all, Paul ordered a Prospector 15. He primarily wants to solo paddle, but he also wants the ability to take a buddy out when he wants to. He started with getting the carbon yoke. The Prospector 15 is such a good boat for this. It's gonna give him a lot of stability when he gets in and out of the boat solo. And if the Prospector 15 we built, folks, it just paddles so nicely. So this is what's called a Yak Attack Command Stand. It's very adjustable. It's got these clips on the front right here that Paul can stick a canoe paddle in or a kayak paddle in when he gets in and out. And the arms on this are super adjustable. I'm gonna show you later and you can tighten the whole package up, you can loosen it. Now Paul also, because of his osteoporosis and he's got a problem with his lower back, he wanted a lot of back support in the boat. So this is the GCI sit packer, which has some nice padding on it. It's adjustable like a backpack strap. You can move it forward, you can move it back. It's got a bit of lumbar support in it. This is going to give Paul the support and comfort when he gets in the boat to be able to keep paddling. And the command stand right here is going to allow him to hold on to something as he gets in and out of the boat. Our guys at our factory are working more and more on doing some custom projects like this. We have some people that have contacted us about building some special needs equipment to be able to make a boat adoptable for their particular needs. So let's show you how this specifically works. Folks, one of the cool things about this is that our technical guys, Matt and Terry, developed a very cool way to put mounts right in the boat so that we've got a really cool mounting system. So pull the pin, pull the pin on the other side, and then move this forward. So you can see how the mount is put right on a custom part that we made right on the boat. Super cool system. So the guys in our shop have the ability to do really cool stuff like this. So let's show you how Paul is gonna be able to get in and out of the boat, paddle comfortably by using the command stand. So whether he gets in from the dock or from the shore, you could support one end of the boat on the shore when you get in, step in the boat, really put a lot of weight on the bar where you just put your, your butt right back in the seat once one leg is in, you can comfortably put the other leg in and then get yourself comfortable. And you've always got this bar to hold on to for to be reassuring, to make you feel more comfortable. Now, with the way this works, he can take the paddle off so it's ready to go to set it down next to him. And here's what's really cool about this, folk. These pins are so easy. You just unclip them. You pull them out, and then Paul will literally be able to just fold the command stand down. 
so that he can paddle now with the command stand right in front of him really go out hour few hours enjoy himself he could if he wanted to unpin the whole system and leave it on the shore and then as he gets back he could put it back in again but if he leaves the front ends in I think it's going to be easy for him to set this back up when he comes back in. So let's show that to you folks. Paul's been out paddling. He's coming back in. Paul, you're loving life again. You're still on the water. So then he's going to set the stand back up again. So do it one set at a time. Put one pin in and there's a little clip that's on a rubber stopper to put on the other side. And then come over here and we'll do the other one. Put the rubber stopper on. So now you can breathe deep, Paul. Really take your time. Put one leg out first. Put a lot of weight on here. Put your other foot under you and step out of the boat and voila. I'm sure it'll take a few times to really get used to how to do it properly. Now, what's really cool about this is we've also set up another position in the back. Sometimes Paul wants to tandem paddle, so he'll be able to do the same thing, the exact same setup. These bars are all adjustable to use in a different position. So you'll be finding that we will be working on more things like this. If you're a person that has some special needs to get in and out of a boat or whatever it may be, contact us. The fall is always the best time for us to do work like this, but we'd like to help people and we'd like to get as many people on the water as we can. Cheers to this beautiful Prospector 15 going to the UK. Paul, you're going to have an amazing summer with this boat and Hopefully you're going to make it to Butte, Scotland with all your buddies and paddle with them as well. Cheers.